But uh, anyway, I got something to show you up there. I'll show you in a minute, so stay tuned. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. As you can tell, looking around, I am not at the house today. And uh, I'm sitting on the tractor. We are in the woods doing bush hogging. We, uh, uh, we're getting ready for deer season. It's getting really close. And so it is time to get some uh, bush hogging done. Get this stuff cleaned up where we can see down our shooting lanes and all. Let me show you this real quick. So can you tell? I don't know if you really can or not, but can you tell it where that's really high there? And I've been through, uh, I've actually been through on both sides of that now uh, with the bush hog. But uh, just trying to get this stuff. This is just the first step in getting it done. We get the bush hogging done and then uh, we need time to clean up because right now I can be pretty much in the middle of the lane. I can't even hardly see the deer stand because there's so much stuff leaning and has grown out now it's amazing how much stuff grows over the spring and summer but uh, uh, anyway that's what we're doing today so you'll get to see some of that i'll show you a little bit i showed you last year when we did it and i'll show you some of this this year uh probably won't do quite as much my dad's coming up on the four-wheeler right now and so anyway i'm gonna get busy get on this and i'll show you guys some of it and uh, we'll get this done and I will add that it was a beautiful, crisp 49 degrees when we got out here this morning. Uh, and it was it was chilly, but I rode the four-wheeler from my house to here. Uh, we're not that far from my house. So I rode the four-wheeler, and I got in the truck for a minute and warmed up because it was cold. I was cold. And it was cold right as soon as we started. I was like, oh, gosh, I'm glad. You see, I got a coat on. I got a long sleeve shirt on and I got a short sleeve shirt on. I'm a little layered up. Now, I will admit, this shirt right here is not, I mean, this coat right here is not the thickest coat in the world. It's not the greatest, but uh, still, ugh, I needed a, I needed a coat this morning. I, and it, heck, I'm riding this tractor. I'm out here, been out here for a little while and I'm not cold. I mean, I'm not warm now. I'm still feeling good with this jacket on. So, uh, of course, I'm just riding the, the tractor but it's sitting here right now the wind's blowing just a little bit and it, it's chilly it feels really good though i love these cooler temperatures it means deer season's coming so anyway i wanted to add that part to it too to let you guys know and i hope you're having a great day whether it's morning or noon or afternoon or night or whenever you're watching this video it's a good morning for us right now the sun is right over there in the east you can barely you can see it coming through the trees somewhat but all right, guys. Well, hope you enjoy the video. Now, one of the things that you have to deal with when you're out here first thing in the fall and trying to clean up is fallen trees. Some of them big, some of them small, but see, we've got trees laying across here, and then we've got a couple of them laying right there. You can kind of see in the distance, you see the deer stand back there? All this is going to have to go now. I do not have hydraulics on the front of my tractor. Uh, I wish it did, but it doesn't. So instead I'm gonna have to use, try to see if I can push some of this stuff out of the way using I, what I call the battering ram on this thing. You see it's got, well, you can't see from that side, there we go. It's got this, uh, this me these metal bars across here, but that right there, it doesn't look so, in this probably but that's that's as big around as as your leg and it's solid and it runs to a skid plate that goes underneath this tractor so i'm going to see if i can push this stuff out of the way uh with this at all if not then larry's going to have to come over here with the his tractor with the uh bucket on the front and get rid of it and of course my dad did bring a chainsaw so let's see uh let's see what happens
was able to push on it a little bit, but it broke right there. And uh, I'm not gonna be able to push it out of the way enough for me to get to the next step. And I don't know that I could have done the next one because it's too high. So we'll just have to do what we can on this end, bush hog this right here, and uh, then have Larry and, and the chainsaw. I may be running it, Daddy may be running it. I don't know, we'll see. We'll have to get the Larry's tractor over here to get this out of the way. So now this is what it looks like after the chainsaw has been used and Larry's come through here with his bucket. <laughs> it's a little bit clearer now, I do believe. Now you can just get right up through here. That's, that's the stuff that I pushed on a little bit. And there was more up here and then there was even more up here but now it doesn't matter because it's just clear all the way through now you can stand on this side and see all the way down to the end of the lane so much much nicer although that dang vine right there needs to go away i don't know how we'll get it exactly but that vine needs to go away places now this is one of our food plots right here this will be wide open and we'll plant some stuff in here but you see how tall this stuff is look this this is a a, a little tree and it's taller than I am and there's all these bushes there's a lot of little trees up there and all this stuff has got this food plot completely covered whenever Larry gets done uh, doing this one. My dad's on the on my tractor now doing and I'm down for a minute. But uh, when Larry gets done with this, I'll show you what this looks like again. And uh, it's kind of a satisfying thing to look at. It's kind of like mowing a, a really a yard that really needs it and bush hogging some land that really needs it. It's it's very satisfying to see it when it's done. Well, there you go that's what it looks like once the bush hogging is done look how wide open that is now how clear I uh, love it like I said it, it's so it's just so cool to look at it how it was before which you just saw and how it is now which is a huge huge difference Here's something that is out here quite a lot in these fields and these places we go. This is a fire ant hill right here. And uh, I don't want to get too close to it, but you can see if you can judge. It's uh, the height of that thing is comes up to about uh, probably about right there on my leg. So I guarantee you it's a uh, foot a little over a foot tall and uh, Larry's got them stirred up some so I'm gonna step back I don't want to be the one that gets attacked
Good morning, guys. A quick look at our foggy conditions this morning. I think fog is nice, it's cool, it's pretty when you're not having to drive in it. Uh oh, I've been spotted. Look at that, you can, hide. You can see the goats and Thor and the cows, but they're hidden in a bit of a veil. Even though the babies are, you can see the babies up there bouncing around, having a good time. And Luna, Luna just took off and ran across there. She doesn't know I'm out here yet. See how long it takes before she realizes that I'm here. But, uh, I just thought I'd show you the fog that we're... I'm glad I don't have to drive to work this morning. I don't have to deal with all this fogginess. It's pretty thick. Good morning, guys. Just a little update on this Sunday morning. Look at that beautiful sky. Not a cloud in the sky. I know you've heard me say it before, but we'll call it a bluebird day. It is beautiful out here this morning, and let's top it off with, it was about 41, 42 degrees this morning. Oh, love these cool temperatures. I mean, heck, here I am, going to take care of animals, and I have on a long sleeve shirt. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, I love it. So, I have something to show you up in the goat pen. Crazy daggum goats. But uh, you hear they're, they're yelling at me right now. Thor, leave Clint alone. He's fine. <laughs> Thor, I'm not going after Clint. But uh, anyway, I got something to show you up there. I'll show you in a minute. So stay tuned. So I'm in here in the goat pen. Sorry, Val, there's nothing in that one this morning, babe. See, the babies are still here, but look what somebody did to my shed. I showed you on the last video that there was a hole in the side of the tin. Well, now somebody went ahead and knocked it down. Just took my tin right on out. I took that hole that they made and extended it all the way. Look at that. Now I'm going to have to tear this off, pull these screws out of here tear this back off and put a new piece of tin up there uh, goats they get to fighting and they get so destructive i was really not wanting them to tear the shed up uh, the sheds held to gut, held up pretty good so far it's done good oh look at the babies i put this in here for them to get under and to get on and they're enjoying playing on it. <laughs> Bright sunlight this morning, isn't it? It sure does feel good out here. So, anyway, just going to show you that my destructive goats have taken out part of the shed. So, I've got to fix that. Try to make it a little less messed up. 